Satnam, and welcome to Kriya to Heal Yourself Now in Club LC. I love this Kriya. It's gentle and it is calm and it's very good for if you feel like you need to get in your body in a really gentle and loving way. It helps you tune in to what's going on in your body and your energy, and it's a very sweet Kriya. It's fairly simple and, again, calm. So let's just jump in. Let's tune in with Om Namo, Guru Dev Namo, three times. Rub your palms. Take a breath or two consciously as you rub your palms. Waking up the nerves, preparing for this practice. Press your palms together, thumbs into your sternum. And let's tune in. Inhale deep. Om Namo. Suspend the breath and feel the vibration circulating around you and through you. Pull up on the root lock, lift the energy up, let it rise. Exhale and release. I'm going to start with Sufi grind to the left. And so that means kind of come forward and around to the left and then back and up to the right. 90 seconds on the side, nice and slow, really feel the movement. And use your breath. Inhale half the circle, exhale other half. With your next inhale, sit tall, suspend the breath, pull Muabhand. Exhale and take a breath or two here and assess your energy. Feel what you feel.
we are going to do the opposite side. So if you're like me and want to switch your legs, switch the cross of your leg. And this time we're going to the right. So uh, that's a clockwise motion. If you went this way last time, just switch it up. No worries. Move with your breath. Be with your breath. And be with your body. Be with the movement. Flow with it. Allow this practice to move you. With an inhale, sit tall, take a few breaths, feel your energy, feel the difference. Third posture, spinal flex. Reach for your shins, or your knees, whatever is more comfortable for you. And remember that this is about the lower and mid spine and not so much the neck. So the chin stays completely parallel to the floor. You're really working on the back of the uh, heart area and then the front of the heart area and then the back of the pelvic area. So you're, as you exhale and you move back, your heart goes back and your pelvis tips back. So your belly is squishing a little. Uh, well, let me see, contracting. <laughs> You're flexing those ab muscles. And then as you inhale, we're opening up the front and flexing the back muscles. So then the shoulder blades come toward each other. All right, you know how to do spinal flex by now. Let's inhale forward and exhale back. Long, deep breaths. This is three minutes. So really use it as a meditation and really allow your body to rule in that it tells you how fast to go. Listen to your body. And if your body is warm and wants a faster movement, speed your breath up with the body.
Last 30 seconds. Eyes rolled in and up for the last 20 seconds here. Inhale deeply, sit tall, engage Moban, squeeze the energy up. Hold. Exhale. Relax. And feel. And we're going back to a two-sided exercise. So here we are for a minute and a half. I'm gonna bring the left leg out and the right foot comes in along the, the thigh. And this is called Janu Shasana in a Hatha Yoga class. Um, that's what I called it on my sheet here because I just kind of copied it over. And what you're gonna do is kind of twist a little toward that leg, reach toward the foot. If that makes you kind of fall backward, you can sit up on something or press your hands or maybe both so that you can push yourself forward. Um, but if you're more flexible in the hamstring, you can reach forward shin or toes. And this is a hold for 90 seconds, long deep breathing. So find your posture and fold in and relax in this posture if you can, but keep your toes pointing to the sky so the leg is a little bit engaged. Ask yourself, where can I let go a little bit more? Feel into that. Release any tension. With an inhale, lift your head and heart up, but keep stretching. Engage Moban, pull the energy up. And exhale, come out of the posture. And of course, switch sides. Now the right leg is out. Left leg is in. Twist toward the right leg, fold toward it, and breathe long and deep, relax into the posture.
And once again, inhale, lift that heart, but press it forward. Engage mold bind. And relax. This time we're gonna lie down and we're going to lie down for 30 seconds in Shavasana. So go ahead and rest on your back. Feel the energy moving through your body. And then place your feet flat on the floor. And you're going to press the lower back into the floor and that stays pressed into the floor the whole time. Clasp your hands, bring them underneath the head and the head actually stays up off the floor the whole time too. We're doing yogic crunches. Now we're counting as we go up to a count of six and counting to a count of six as we come down but the crunch is really small. It looks like this. I'm going to inhale. And then as I exhale, I count to six, press that lower back in. And that's about as far as I go up. And then inhale, counting to six on the way down. But my head again stays up off the floor. We're not pulling the neck, we're just resting the head on the hands. This is two minutes, start with an inhale. And exhale, push that back in and into the floor and crunch up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. With your own breath and own pace now. We have 20 seconds left. And rest fully now. Legs can spread out, lie flat, or keep them up. And when you're ready, rise up for another two minute exercise, cat and cow, pretty familiar. So 
Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Inhale and look up, heart down, spine toward the ground. Exhale and round belly up toward the sky, head down. Again with your long deep breaths. Listening to know whether or not to speed up or slow down. And inhale into cow, so the belly comes down, spine toward the ground, face up, heart forward. Apply root lock. Exhale and relax. You can relax seated, you can relax down into child's pose if you prefer, just for a moment. Here on out, we have one minute exercises each, and again, not, not too tough. So rise up if you are in child's pose, and we're going to have our legs straight out in front. Again, engage the feet. Bring them up toward the sky. Don't let them just fall. It's easy to do that. Keep focus in the posture and simultaneously in that leg that's not doing the thing we're doing. <laughs> so we're gonna take our right foot and bring it over our left, no, you know what? Other way. We can keep our right foot out. We're gonna bring our left leg, cross it over so that the foot is just above or right at the knee area. Just above it. You don't wanna like put your ankle on your knee. And we're gonna twist toward the left. So bring your left hand behind you to lift the heart Hug your knee, make my timer here, and long deep breaths, twist to the left. Inhale, come forward, exhale, and switch sides. 
Left leg is out. Right foot crosses over. Right hand behind to lift. Hug your right knee with your left arm and twist. Inhale and untwist. Exhale and release. Come to cross legs. And we're going to come to bear grip. So you're going to bring your left hand up at the level of the heart and pointing out. You're going to bring your right hand up to meet it and then lock your fingers. And I'm just showing you how to lock the fingers, but then you move it back so your left palm faces out, right palm faces in, and you're about four to six inches away from the heart in front of it. And we're gonna inhale the left elbow up and exhale the right elbow up. So inhale left elbow up, exhale right elbow up. I'm doing that, so because I'm recording this, it might be mirroring and it might look like I'm lifting my right elbow up but it's my left <laughs> so do your left as well and again this is for just one minute so bring your hands to the grip and inhale exhale at your own pace and the are the forearms stay in that straight line so one goes up, the other goes down, like a teeter-totter. Now on your inhale, bring your hands back so they're parallel to the floor and pull that lock. Hold the breath, squeeze, mool bund. Pull, 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 lift, lift, lift. Exhale when you need. Relax the hands onto your knees and just take a few breaths, assess your energy and feel how different it feels. Feel if you feel any difference. Feel if you feel anything at all. Feel if there's a color associated with your aura right now. Or maybe it's multiple colors. Or maybe it's blank, nothing. Nothing is wrong, everything is right. Hey, let's fatigue our levator scapula. Okay, so, so this muscle that lifts our scapula up, our shoulder blades up, it's the only one that does it, so it gets cranky, and we're gonna fatigue it so that it releases some of that tension. 
And we do that with shoulder shrugs. Inhale, up, exhale, drop. You do not control it. You do not control it. There's so many times I see that. And it's like, no, just gravity, gravity. Like, see if you can just, can gravity take them down? It can. <laughs> Will you let it? <laughs> and it's a fast, this one's the fast one. This is the only one that's fast. So we're, <laughs> inhale up, exhale, release. Halfway done. Inhale and squeeze the shoulders up. Hold, pull mool bund, hold. When you exhale, let it go. <laughs> Drop it, yes. Now we can feel that energy up in the throat chakra. We're going to Relax it a bit now, doing shoulder rolls. I like to go backwards. You can go forward, it doesn't matter. Kind of like smoothing out that energy. We're halfway done here now. And relax your shoulders. Take a breath or two. And this next one will inhale left and exhale right. We're going to do head turns. Make sure you turn your head slowly and all the way to really get a stretch in the neck, which helps the thyroid. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. Slow it down. Focus your eyes at your third eye. Finish your last exhale, and then come center. You can feel into your energy, feel into your body. And take a moment now to call up anything, any person, any 
place on earth that you want to send healing. Maybe it's to something in you, something in another, and something out in the world. And allow healing energy to flow from your heart. It's from the universe through your heart. To yourself, to another, to the world. Feeling gratitude for this place, for this person, for this inner space. And relax now onto your back for deep relaxation, so Shavasana. Have